Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I'm back with another video for Wild Ochre Crafts YouTube channel and uh, it's uh, The Wild Birch and my name is Anna and my YouTube uh, channel is xanro one and um, if you haven't uh, visited their uh, YouTube uh, site before I will uh, link to it below and there you can uh, find a lot of inspiration and a lot of different uh, crafts uh, project for, uh, from different uh, crafters and I will also uh, put the link to the shop below where you can find a lot of beautiful flowers and uh, embellishments. So here I made a pencil and a note holder and it's uh, made out of an empty kitchen uh, uh, paper roll. So these are great to recycle and use for so many fun things. And uh, we'll give you a quick uh, overview here and then I will flip uh, my camera up so you can get the more close up. So here you can see a little here are the note holder and uh, I wish they come, uh, it's a post-it note holder and I wish they come with uh, some off-white as well. But I think yeah, the green goes well. And then we can turn it around and here you can see the sides and the back side here. So use some laces here. I really love using uh, Wild Orca Craft's beautiful flowers and laces. So some of them are from a session, some from Wild Orca Crafts. And it flips open like so with some pencils inside. Maybe it shows better up now when I flip it over, open so you can see it here. Some pencils inside here and an uh, eraser. And this is loose so I can choose where to have it here for the eraser, like so. And in the end of the video I will show you a bit how it's uh, constructed. So maybe you, if you like to make one yourself. So for the ends here I just build up some, you see, see it curled up a bit, uh, some stands here. And this is a die from uh, Vimsy Stamps, uh, Eiffel Tower. And some flat back pearls from Wild Ochre Crafts. And also these laces here are from Wild Ochre Crafts. And I will post uh, the product names uh, on the screen as, screen as I go and um, some of them are out of stock and then I will try to remember to post them uh, below later. So and this uh, lace here is uh, from my stash and I also took some paper from the paper line inside here. So, so it closes up like so. And this is also great if you like to uh, make it uh, to have it in your purse or maybe for your kids then you can just make uh, made the bottom part and uh, not the sides or the feet. Maybe show you under as well. And uh, then you can have it in your purse and maybe decorate it with uh, some flowers. And and uh, maybe start uh, with these flowers here. Here I have some uh, Tuscany flowers and it's uh, 30 millimeter. I think. Yeah. And uh, some Tuscany rose uh, buds here and um, some four these are four and these are uh, eight millimeter rose buds and some hip rose buds and I went over distressed them a bit with uh, some uh, white uh, paints so I'll give you a more close up here and uh, this flower is um, a white wild uh, rose and uh, it's 40 millimeter but I just took off a, a couple of uh, layers here to get it a bit smaller and this cute little birdie here I got from my friend Linda so thank you so much Linda she's at live art now and I uh, made a little envelope here with some stickles on so it uh, goes with a theme here and uh, here on the side I have some uh, steam flowers and some 30 millimeter leaves on the side here 
and uh, here are uh, also some 30 millimeter leaves and some uh, sweet tart blossoms and one more uh, Tuscany flower here some seam binding and this I curled up when it uh, was wet just curled it up in my hands and I made a little book with the paper here I have to have a book on this uh, bench here and this is uh, from Prima and here I made a flower steam uh, with uh, some 4 and 8 mm, uh, yeah, these are 4 and 8 millimeter rose buds and uh, this is a magnolia dye and I have a spray behind here and uh, yeah, and uh, a bow here that I made with my Sutter Boedisi and a flat back heart bow from Wild Oak Crafts also and some more uh, rose buds here in 4mm and this bird is also a Prima resin so that was here and yeah uh, the stamp uh, I just cut out uh, it said uh, congratulations inside here so I cut it out and then I used uh, this uh, stamp here it's really great when you want to uh, make some words so I've, I've used it a lot lately really love that so that was uh, that side and uh, on the back side here I uh, stamped a postcard and uh, this clip is uh, from stamping up like so and some more wild, wild roses and some more uh, uh, Tuscany rose buds and 40 millimeter leaves and I first cut out this uh, birdie here and one more of this uh, magnolia uh, dye here on the side and uh, this uh, um, lace trim is also from Wild Ochre Crafts so yeah some more fussy cut here so I had a really fun time uh, making this and I love uh, making things out of uh, toilet paper rolls and uh, yeah also uh, have some eggs under the body here so, so uh, now I will show you uh, just a bit uh, short tutorial on how you can uh, construct this and, and make it so I'll be back so I forgot to show you this uh, rose trim uh, um, lace is also from Wild Oak Crafts and I also put in some cheesecloth here and there so then we can start uh, with uh, empty toilet paper roll because I don't have any more of the large but uh, it's uh, the same and it can, can be hard if you um, cut into this now uh, to get a straight uh, line so I like to use my ruler here so I just line it up like so and then take your mark over And I just just did eyeball it this, but I found out it was two and a quarter. So then you can take a mark here at uh, two and a quarter. Let's see here about. And I also did uh, paint this uh, with the white uh, gesso uh, first to get it a bit more sturdy and and stiff. So. so and take a mark over here as well so then we can cut them off and I go from each side on the long ones so For the other one I used uh, Tyvek envelopes, but uh, you can use anything you like for a hinge here. <laughs> took far too much. <laughs> so. And I also took one on the inside to secure it. So just cut this off and just fold it in like so. 
this. So here's the base for it. So be sure when you take the hinge on, on the inside, uh, fold it like this and then take the hinge because else it won't uh, uh, fold up. So, and then for the sides, then I just measured um, that I did uh, f uh, before I cut it and uh, draw around like so. And I uh, cut out uh, the circles and then I had uh, uh, some templates and uh, that's for see here on the inside uh, for the top inside here and also the bottom and then I made one more over here but I'll show you that later so then I made some uh, hinges and uh, glued it on on uh, the top here like so and then I just uh, made a mark here and here and I cut it off. So, and if you don't uh, get this straight you can always uh, cut it off later. So I used the TVEC envelope to uh, um, take this on as well but I just will use tape here so it goes faster to show you. So, and on the other side. So when you have taken this on, uh, it doesn't fit perfectly, you see. So then I cut it off a bit. So, and then I glued uh, the other one on here. If you wonder of the hinges, uh, they are cut at one inch and scored at a half inch. And then I cut uh, strips uh, into the paper. I can maybe show you a bit here. So I scored it at a half inch and then I cut strips in like so. And glued it on the outside here. And then it's easy to fold this down and glue them on here. So just do it like so, so the video won't be so long. So here I took uh, the other circle and I folded the paper like so. And then I folded this like so. Do it more precise. Should have taken another color here so you can see it better. So then I just drew around here and then I took it about one inch down. I can draw all the way down here so you see it. So and then I went down about a half an inch or one inch. Here about so and then I drew from the side here and the middle part about and uh, maybe it's about one and a quarter inch in yeah one and a quarter and then we can cut this out this uh, part on here and uh, <laughs> remember this is copy paper so take a bit uh, uh, shipboard or something uh, that, so it's uh, strong here so uh, this is going to glue it on here but just on this bottom part here. so I can see if I get this glue to hold on the tape so So, and that you do for both sides, and then you can take your pattern paper and uh, and uh, glue over here so you don't see 
uh, this inside here over like so and uh, for the bottom part here if you see uh, this take it upside down so these here I also made from shipboard and I did the same as uh, the side here and uh, I cut out all the circle here so then you are left with this piece here and then I just took some strong glue and glued it right on like so so I have a couple of these so then uh, and if you don't want to have this stand you can just uh, make it uh, like so and uh, have it in your purse and maybe um, take some uh, magnets uh, under the lace or you can punch with your uh, or, or with a Martha Stewart punch or anything um, uh, something that goes over here so maybe cut out the strip so you can see like so and place a magnet under here and also a mag magnet under the pat pattern paper here so then you can take it in your purse and you can maybe decorate with a couple of flowers inside so uh, it's pretty when you open it so then you just uh, uh, decorate it on the outside with uh, some paper so I hope this was a bit uh, helpful and that you want to give it a try and it's also great for presents for friends and so I almost forgot uh, how I, to show you how I constructed this uh, top part here so I will show you that also but first if you are going to use uh, this for your purse it can maybe uh, flip a bit around like so uh, even if you have a closure here so then you can cut out one more piece of shipboard same and glue on the top here just on the bottom part so it opens like so so then it will become uh, more a study so then we will start uh, with a um, note holder and then I take a piece of uh, copy paper and uh, make a pattern and uh, I think I will have it about uh, two inch I took um, uh, this uh, post-it note holder and uh, fold it in half and so how wide I needed it to be so so then I choose I wanted it to go see if I can get the place here uh, about uh, one half inch on the outside so just make some marks here so and I also wanted it a uh, half inch on the bottom here of the frame here <laughs> so and uh, about four and a half high I think here so and then we can start drawing and I'm not any good at this at all but um, maybe take the line down so it's easier to see so about also on the bottom here so this I also made out of a shipboard after I made uh, this uh, pattern here so then we start on the top here and uh, I just try to draw how I wanted it to be like so about and then we can cut it out so. and here you can uh, make any shape you like to looks great and uh, then I took a hinge and uh, one inch uh, strip about here I just took some copy paper and took some glue and just for showing and uh, glue this on the back all the way down and now you can take your pattern paper on 
and uh, when that's done you need this to fasten on uh, the box here so uh, it can be fastened by uh, just uh, taking it down without the hinge and then uh, uh, take some flowers around and also on the back but uh, I like to secure it a bit more so for the top uh, part uh, this is now uh, two and a quarter so this is a bit wider but uh, then I just measured how long I wanted it to go in so I wanted it a bit more on the outside here so here about so then the paper should be uh, two and a quarter white so maybe a bit more in the middle here so here you can use a craft knife or you can just uh, cut into it like so and then you take this on the back inside like so and we just take some glue here on the hinge and be sure to um, take it all the way up and that these two meets here so that you can glue this down so and now it's ready I like to secure it a bit with a strip of paper uh, behind this here as well and maybe show you that also so it's more easy to glue down can take it all the way if you like to but just take it on the end here so now it's ready to be glued on on the top like so so then you have uh, the post-it note holder here so I hope this uh, was helpful and that you want to give it a try it's really fun using empty uh, toilet paper rolls and uh, kitchen rolls and yeah. So thank you so much for watching everyone and have fun creating. Take care. Bye bye.